Welcome guys, this is Miss Laura and I'm at the Lehigh City Library and I have a fun craft slash art project for you to do today that I really love and I hope you do too. And what we are doing today is we're making paper beads. What I love about paper beads is that you can make it from just about anything that you have laying around your home. You can use scrapbook paper, you can use magazines, you could use pages out of a book, you could use newspaper even, and you can use cereal boxes, and that's what we are going to use today. Um, obviously, the length of your paper or your box determines the size of your beads, so you can make all different sizes. If you wanted to make a bigger bead with cereal boxes, kind of like this one, this was made with a family-sized cereal box so that when you open it up it's it's pretty long so your strip will be pretty long but you can do all different sizes so let's get started what you're going to do first of all is find a cereal box and the more colorful the better I think you're going to go ahead and you can cut it down cut it right down the, the edge open it up and then you'll cut the bottom off piece right down here and you're going to flatten it all out. So one of the flaps you'll, you'll probably cut off. So this is what it's going to look like. Okay, And then we're going to want to measure strips. And we are going to, you'll, you'll need a, a ruler and you can use a yardstick too because it's longer and so that will be helpful. Um, the size I did was approximately three quarters of an inch wide and it narrowed down to about an eighth of an inch. You can do wider and you can make it come down to a smaller point if you want. You can really do it any size you want to. So you can go along and you can mark a little dot where the three quarter inch mark is and you're going to mark dots and flip it around so it's alternated. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and take my, my yardstick and I'm going to put it along there and I'm going to draw a line. You can do it with a marker, a pencil, whatever you wish. Okay, so we've got our line. So once you do one, you'll flip it over and you'll do another one. Yeah, and maybe show them that. Like do another do one another too. Do another one. Okay. Let me show you. That way you don't waste the cardboard. So, and actually this first one that I did is a little bit too small. I mean, you could still use it. show you a couple of them and I'm really not measuring them so the thing is whoops that moved the thing is is that it you can do it you don't have to measure it if you don't want to you can just kind of freehand it it moved a little bit down there but that's what it's gonna look like okay and then you're just gonna cut your strips so once you've got your strips cut you're going to need I use skewers, so you can get these for, um, gosh, I think it was less than a dollar at the store. And, and you don't have to use skewers. You could use a piece of wire, you could use, I mean, it needs to be small. You could use a toothpick if you had a kind of a chunky toothpick. I, I like these because it leaves you some room. But, so you're gonna take that, here's, here's my strip, and I am going to, put the skewer down at the bottom and I'm just going to kind of see if I can roll it around the skewer. And you want to get it when you start rolling it as tight as you can. If it's not super tight, it's not the end of the world, but, but as tight as you can go. So, and it kind of is helpful to, you kind of have to work with it for just a minute. Okay, so I've got it going. Now you don't have to do this, but I kind of like to. I like to, and I'm just using glue by the way, white Elmer's glue. Um, 
I will use Mod Podge too at the end, but you don't have to use that. You can use glue in place of Mod Podge, really. So I just am going to put a little tiny bit of glue right there once I get it started. And I'm going to, like I said, make sure it's as tight as I can get it. And it's a little tricky. It's okay. You can work with it and it'll take a few minutes to get the hang of it. Okay, so I've got it going just like this. And I'm gonna, whoops, you can see that happens. And I've made quite a few of them. So it, if you don't hold on to it super tight, it'll get away from you. But these are fun. This would be fun to do. I mean, like I said, you're recycling and it's just a fun little thing to do, a fun little project at home. And you can make lots and lots of them and do lots of different fun little, fun little things. Gifts for your friends, whatever. Okay, so I put a little bit more glue just because I want it to. You don't have to, but I think it helps. So we're getting it almost down to the end. And once we get it there, I'm, I'm going to put a dab of glue along this long piece. Because obviously we want it to stick good. So I'm just going to wrap it around. And there we go. So you're going to want to hold it for a little minute. If it's more pointed on one end and more flat on the other, which often happens. I just kind of manipulate it a little bit, and it's usually going to be a little bit that way, but you can kind of move it around. So I'm going to hold it for a minute because you want it to really adhere. Okay, and that's it. That's how you make the bead. And again, if I had done it wider, I've seen them like this wide, and it makes a long bead. And that's really cool. There's just, look it up online. There's some really cool projects that you can do with these beads. Okay, so you need it to, to totally dry. And once it's dried, you're going to, and I, I put it between um, these styrofoam foam cups so it can, um, when I put the Mod Podge on, it can dry. So we wanna put a little bit of Mod Podge on it to seal it and just help it really stick together well. So I'm just going to open it up. And again, if you do not have Mod Podge, you can just water down a little bit of Elmer's glue. I, I think it's really about the same thing. Okay, so here goes. And this will dry clear. And it's gonna be a little messy. So don't be afraid to get your hands gluey because they will get gluey doing this project. Okay, all right. Can you see that? We've got it. And so it's on this so it can just dry for well without getting stuck to anything. So after, after the Mod Podge has dried, when it's thoroughly dried, you can take um, a can of clear, shiny satin, I'm trying, high gloss, that's the word I'm going for, and you can spray your bead, and you can have several of them on it at a time, and spray them, and let them dry, and they will be nice and glossy, and shiny, and then they will be ready to, to do whatever craft you want. Like I said, um, keychain. What I used for this keychain is just some small, very fine, somewhat fine hemp, but you could use whatever you wanted, whatever you've got. So that's the size I used. And the little key rings, you can get them. I think I paid like $1.80 for a bag of a ton of them at Hobby Lobby the other day. For bracelets, if you want to do a bracelet, you're going to want some stretchy, the stretchy stuff also from Hobby Lobby or the craft store, okay? And you can do however you want. Um, so, 
I hope you will try this today. Start saving your cereal boxes and see what you can come up with. Thanks for watching.